Hi everyone, um, I hope you're managing to stay buoyant in these times and that the things that we're doing on the Arts Care site are keeping you both motivated, supple and uh, with something to do. So today I'm going to continue with drawing and I hope that I can show you in simple steps how to represent something on the page in three-dimensional form. So if I'm looking at the apple, what I can see is the stork, and then we've got the pattern, which is created by the green against the red. So, okay, I can see the top of the stork, which comes down like that. So I can use that now and it comes down to, goes within the apple, it disappears in. So I'm going to darken that and then these kind of radiate out a bit like a sunburst. So, and there's a curve to them. I hope you can see this. I'm, I'm pressing harder than I ordinarily would to, to start, but I'm just aware that I'm working in pencil um, and you might not be able to see it as I would hope. Okay, I know the top of my apple stalk is here. And the edge of the apple is there. So I can make a wee mark there. I know that goes. And then as we go up here, it's not a totally round apple. But I can very clearly see that line there coming out of there, comes round and goes down. So I'm using the colour that I see to help describe the shape. So if you're working in a by row, this will work in the same way. Maybe that's what I need to do. Let's just switch to a Vic. Find your way around. So you're actually working with the growth. I guess what you're doing is working with the growth of the apple. Sounds a bit pretentious, but maybe that's what you're doing. Right, as I come around here, you'll notice that there's the shadow. Use the shadow. We're still working in line, but we're actually also bringing in form. Can you see that? And the shadow forms a pattern within the light. And again, the more accurate you are in how you observe, the more lifelike your apple is going to look. So hopefully you can see this. And it's up to you how far you take a, it may be enough just to be frittering as I am and 
creating something just for the act of drawing, really, not for anything else. I'm not going to put it in for the Turner Prize, probably. But hopefully just the act of drawing is satisfying enough. And if you're doing something you've not really attempted before, isn't that great? So if I put the pear by the side of the apple, again, it's the same, it's the same concept. You draw what you see. Now I can just say that there's a rather cheeky pear stalk just coming out the other side. And my pear comes round close down and around like that. But the pear, if you look at the surface, the pear, the surface is not the same as the apple. Okay, but the concept is the same. And this is where personality comes in. Everybody has handwriting, which is more or less unique to, to them. Sorry, I want to just get... So as I'm drawing, um, you gradually start to, you do, your eye settles in and you start to see more than you did at first. Um, your hand will start to move. If you're concentrating on what you're looking at, your hand will start to represent without you really thinking about it, without you thinking, you're just it's a bit like filling in the blanks, I guess. Adding detail by detail. Um, I quite like the contrast of texture of the pear. And I realise the texture, the brown speckles get fewer as they come up. I'm not quite comfortable with a biro as a way of drawing. I prefer my softer pencil, but if all you've got is the biro, um, and hopefully you can see that there is um, a contrast between the apple and the pear. It's a bit like scribbling with purpose, really, isn't And it's often the space around something that you end up drawing more than you do 
the object itself, um, the pear, because it was more textural. I put a bit more work into that. Um, but the, the main focus now has become what is around, like the apple, I've drawn very little on that at all. Uh, just given an indication, really. I can follow through and strengthen that, and I probably would. But what gives it more form is the shadow. underneath. Now I'm pressing quite hard now, which is quite a contrast from the way in which I started. So you feel your way in and you gradually develop your drawing. taking an observation. You don't see everything all at once, you never do. So I hope these wee film clips have been useful and that it's given you what you need to get drawing a go and that you now know where to start.